Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. The sixth day, movie thoughts. I really love the, and I'm just going to go ahead and quote it, aren't you going to wait till I've died, would you? It's just, that's where, it, it really highlights how replaceable, you know, people become of cloning his youth used unethically to the villain. This is the first time he understands what he's been doing to others because he hasn't been, you know, he has been cloned himself, but he hasn't, you know, been alive to see his clone taking over from him. And yeah, it, it, that's, that's such a big part of the, the, the issue, you know, if, if we can just, you know, make people like that, then won't people become, you know, easily replaceable and that kind of thing. Now, it's been noted that the, you know, I, one reviewer said that, you know, the movie joins the ever-growing 2000s gutless ending club and I wish he had I, I couldn't quite tell which other movies he was talking about I, I have an idea or two but I would like to see the full list but nevertheless I guess I kind of see what he means because the you know in the movie clones do not have rights so and you know the the most of the clones, we're told, have been, you know, or, yeah, a, a number of the, you know, really important ones and such, have these diseases implanted so they don't live very long. And so, yeah, you know, you would kind of expect that, you know, at the end, they, they accept that Adam's clone, you know, will will die, rather than, as it is here, him moving on. I find it hard to argue with the, you know, that is kind of, considering it, it doesn't follow through on what it's set up, you know. On the other hand, I, I do see the, the filmmaker's point of view on it as well. There, you know, the film is you know, communicating what they think, you know, the, the good guys say what they think we should take away from the movie, and the bad guys tend to say the things that they want us to distrust and such, although, you know, points like the thing about how the, you know, the, the child with brain cancer could be, you know, yeah, could, could be saved without, you know, that is part of what cloning could do if we get, you know, but yeah, you know, the film letting the clone live is saying that, you know, clone or otherwise, all life has value, so yeah, and you know, the movie humanizes clones by letting us think that we're following, you know, the original Adam rather than the clone. You know, only in the last fourth do we actually realize that we've been following the clone for almost the whole movie. Right when we see him wake up in the Johnny, I mean, the cab, it's that, yeah, he is a, from, from then on out, he's a clone, you know, it was, it was noted on, I guess, the IMDb trivia page, I want to say, is where I read it, that, like, you know, Arnie was nominated for two Razzies for acting, you know, the, you know, the, the lead role in a film as 
you know, the regular Adam and as the supporting character as his clone. And that's actually backwards. They, the, the character that we follow for almost the entire movie is the clone, not the original. So, you know, when, you know, we, we see this, you know, evil, unnatural clone stealing the, the, you know, family and the life of this completely, you know, normal person. And then we realize that we've been seeing the supposed evil clone throughout most of the film. And, you know, like I said in the review, the protagonist in a mainstream movie tends to become, you know, we, we tend to empathize with him as the audience. And, yeah, it, it's very nice, you know, because that's always, like, when... Basically, that is what xenophobia is. This other group is not like our group. So, if we have to, you know, if they... If they're close to us, then won't they steal or pervert our, you know, our values, our jobs, our families, and you know, our women, you know. So, yeah, the, the movie, you know, goes there, but without saying, you know, and everybody can relate. You know, nobody wants to lose their own family, obviously. You know, if... I suppose I, I shouldn't give it too high marks in that regard because it does go for the, you know, imagine if one of them had sex with your wife, you know, in the minivan. It, it does go there, but nevertheless. And, you know, it's a lot like the, the twist in A Beautiful Mind as well, which, yeah, it just, it works. When we see from the point of view of the you know, the, the point of view that we see something through is incredibly important in such a major release that, you know, millions of people all over the world are going to see and they're going to, it's, it is popcorn entertainment overall. So it's, yeah. And the, you know, among the things that it, you know, points out about the, kind of, you know, the why the clone should be treated as human beings is, you know, are, you know, are you sure I'm like really human? And then he points out, you wanted to save my family when you thought you were me. If that's not human, I don't know what is, you know, and, and just, which again, in this kind of, you know, masculine, you know, violent souls, everything kind of, unless they clone the bad guy kind of thing to actually have it stated that what makes us human is our empathy yeah it's it's that's it's very admirable now the you know when when they point out about the you know if if they knew they you know put them down like a you know like a rabbit dog or a, you know, what was the other thing, like, like a, a fallen horse or something, you know, like, yeah, flush it down the toilet like a goldfish, and, you know, the, the, the thing with, you know, just to briefly go into the, the, the unethical aspects of the cloning as, you know, as the film also put, you know, basically the, the bad guy whose name is Skitch, the actor is Tony Goldwyn, so that's what I'll go with. Tony has, you know, he has power because he has, he has power over other people without, you know, it's not like democratically, no, no, no. He has power over other people because he has something on them that the public can't know. This is like mob method kind of thing. You know, if you don't do what I tell you, I'm going to 
leak to the public. The kind of, you know, it's it's dirty politics. It's you know, so yeah, he and the amount of power he has is also really scary. You know, he's talking about changing laws, you know, with and you know, you can understand why, you know, the thing of, you know, giving giving clones human rights is you know, you can it's I've I've gone into recently some of the most interesting villains are the ones who are technically kind of right but go about it in the wrong way. You know, if if we if we have a world where human cloning is just something that's done then yes, obviously they should have human rights. But you know, he's he's kind of doing this selfishly because you know, he he himself doesn't have human rights. He he would not have. And instead of like organizing marches, he is, you know, literally controlling the life or death of these regular people so that he can, you know, be sure he doesn't lose the star quarterback and so that he can be ensured, assured, you know, continued support from the, yeah. I'm going to do something great for you. I'm going to bring back your wife, and I'm going to save our friendship. And the, you know, it's it's kind of this thing of, you know, who gets to control life or death. And, you know, the movie says God, and, you know, I'm, I'm not really going to go too much into the religious of it but you know he's he's not saying you know there there is like basically what he's saying is the way it is works you know and that kind of if we if we were to be able to conquer death to live forever you know that i I don't think that's, I, I guess I should, I will probably put links to the videos I've done on this below rather than just restate, but the the part of it is also just that, you know, if, if that is in in the hands of just one person or just a few people, yeah, that's that's really uncomfortable territory to go into and yeah you know the as it is now you know works if 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 a few people get to pick and choose who to bring back to life and who not to then you know certainly at first it's going to be purely the you know the powerful elite that just get to you know keep going it you know and and maybe eventually we'd be talking about basically everyone but then you know we're talking about whether the you know if if nobody ever dies you know like I mean, Talia is gonna you know look that's that's a great name for for a bad guy girl Anyway, you know, she's, she says, kind of takes the fun out of living, doesn't it? You know, the this thing of, yeah, you you can just keep going. I I, I think that, it, I, I forget who first said it, but part of what makes life, you know, gives life its value is specifically that it ends that there is a time limit, there is a ticking clock for us for how, you know, how long we can expect to get new experiences and, you know, be around people and this kind of thing. And, yeah, you know, if, if you live forever, then you can, you have time to try out absolutely everything and it's just, yeah, it becomes kind of meaningless, you know, that 
because you're not you're not so much making choices for what to you know what to do or what not to you're just choosing when to do it rather you know to do this option now rather than later and yeah and you know basically the you know the people tony has cloned are his puppets they are no longer like you know he he talks about you know or i forget it might be deval who who says that but you know tony is trying to get human rights for clones meanwhile he is treating these clones as a means to an end rather than end an end in and of themselves you know he's he wants yeah he's he's not practicing what he's what he's preaching which again really highlights it is selfish he himself does not want to lose he he refuses to become a martyr for the cause if he you know just like made it more or less public and then you know I, I forget if they talk about like jail time for him just for existing but you know if maybe not that then yeah go into hiding and then just like try to spread the message gradually so that people realize these are actual human beings instead he stops treating human beings as human beings excuse me so that you know he can get it sooner I really love the rapport between the two Arnies the you know that they I think it is thermite they, they've made and they're both, both like cool and like you know can you fly yeah, better than you good because your shooting sucks and all this you know yeah really really good stuff and it's I, I again it, you know you know, incredibly masculine, you know, film. I, I really like that it's not toxic masculinity in that. It's it's almost like they're kind of buddies. Like they're, you know, you've got some macho thing going there, but they're not like arguing over which one is the, you know, the better, like overall. They're, they're just, you know, they're, they're, you know, poking at each other a little bit, but it's not, you know, when, when the clone meets, you know, f finds Adam calling the police, you know, he, he knocks him out to prevent him from calling the police, but then, rather than, like, try to you know, he didn't have to work with him. He could have chosen to, like, try to, you know, trap him somewhere where they wouldn't be able to find him so he could go about it himself. But instead, he chooses to work with this, which, again, also really works to further the message that, you know, yeah, you know, clones are people too. I really like the... <laughs> When, when he goes in and tries to report, you know, yeah, try to give a police report. And, like, the, the guy is, this is very different from the report you gave in earlier. And then he's, you know, and he, he brings up cloning. And then the other guy is like, wait, did, did you break the law? And then immediately, like, up pops this virtual lawyer. You don't have to answer that. And, you know, you know, and, and... Crap, I forget the exact line, but but something about like, you know, he's like, no, but this is not about me. This is about my clone or something. He's like, okay, virtual psychiatrist. Let's take it from the top. I, I can't believe this. You're avoiding the subject of your parents. That that's really good. That's yeah. And the you know and and the point about how the repet salesman you know he he kind of rolls with the punches he he wonders why he came in twice but nevertheless you know and when you hear those lines again you know still can't make up your mind and 
is it's your dog, right? You know, and it, because when you first see it, I mean, he's this sleazy car, used car salesman kind of guy, you know. So when when you hear him say that the first time, you're not thinking something's wrong here. You're just thinking uh, one of these guys, you know, and just yeah. And you gotta love the the details about how they can just customize the dog. You know, we can make it smaller, we can make, you know, give it soft teeth, and then later we do see these Rottweilers that are like, you know, yeah, in, just incredibly dangerous, and yeah, you know, the, these kind of details, which again brings up this kind of thing of, we, we expect to be able to just you know, do things the way we want them to in in today's society. We expect to, so you know, it's it's only a matter of time before we can go into a pet shop and we can buy, you know, a, a dog that has softer teeth, so we don't have to worry as much about you know. Rather than, ah, I don't know, this is what's it called? Training, training the dog. You know, I don't have pets. Never have. So, you know, no no real reason. But, and I do love them. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's this kind of thing of, yeah. And the, you know, which, which are also very clear in, with the virtual girlfriend and the, you know, in, in how lifelike Simpal Cindy is. And, yeah. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.